Within the realm of political philosophy, John Rawls' groundbreaking work, A Theory of Justice, stands as an iconic masterpiece in the tradition of social contracts. Unleashing profound debates throughout the 20th century, this influential piece offers a comprehensive framework through which societies and their social outcomes can be assessed, delving into the profound notions of justice, fairness, and rights. Unveiling the true nature of fairness and the principles that underpin a just society, philosopher John Rawls embarks on a compelling exploration in a theory of justice. Published in 1971, this seminal work has become a focal point for discussions in political philosophy, empowering us to scrutinize and evaluate social structures while refining our perceptions of what constitutes fairness and injustice. Within this summary, we place particular emphasis on the book's most powerful concept, an assertion that a society can only be deemed truly just when its foundational principles are unanimously accepted by impartial individuals. By delving into this fundamental notion, Rawls prompts us to question and reevaluate the essence of justice in our world. Chapter 1. The Pursuit of a Just Society, John Rawls' Vision In the quest to establish a well-ordered society, John Rawls delves into the essence of justice, seeking to reconcile diverse interests and foster harmonious coexistence. Recognizing that individuals have no control over the society they are born into, Rawls emphasizes the paramount importance of fairness as the cornerstone of our social institutions. Despite the arbitrary nature of this arrangement, society expects strict adherence to its rules, even resorting to imprisonment for non-compliance. Within the realm of philosophy, this expectation is encapsulated in the concept of a social contract, a conceptual narrative that rationalizes the functioning of society and delineates the reciprocal obligations between individuals and the collective. Drawing inspiration from the 17th-century philosopher Thomas Hobbes, who argued that relinquishing some personal freedoms to a governing authority was necessary to escape a solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short existence, Rawls seeks to establish the legitimacy of the state through an implicit agreement between citizens. Rawls penned his seminal work, A Theory of Justice, against the backdrop of the Cold War, a period marked by geopolitical tensions, ideological clashes, and societal unrest. This influential book resonates with the era, as democratic societies grappled with competing forces of capitalism and communism, while embroiled in fervent debates on social transformation. Chapter 2, Beyond Self-Interest, John Rawls' Vision of a Just Society In the arduous task of crafting a fair tax code, imagine conducting a poll to determine who should bear the burden and to what extent. The results, however, prove disheartening as each group advocates for schemes that favor their own self-interest. Faced with this challenge, it becomes clear that personal biases hinder the pursuit of true fairness. But how can society be organized without prior knowledge of one's position within it? Drawing upon the notion of impartiality and the concept of justice being blind, John Rawls introduces the veil of ignorance as a fundamental principle. Similar to the blindfolded lady justice, this veil symbolizes a decision-making process that transcends personal interests and considers the greater good. Just as a person cutting a cake impartially distributes slices without knowing their own portion, Rawls argues for a societal arrangement that emerges from a state of uncertainty. Envision yourself endowed with absolute power to shape society, yet devoid of knowledge regarding your future role within it. Gender, ethnicity, wealth, and talents remain uncertain variables. This hypothetical scenario, known as the original position, serves as the starting point for Rawls' examination. With the veil of ignorance firmly in place, the question arises, how should society be organized? Rawls posits that the rational and equitable choice lies in a society that prioritizes the well-being of its least fortunate members. Fairness is assessed by how society treats those who are unlucky in wealth, privilege, or talent. Thus, laissez-faire capitalism, which permits unrestricted market forces while disregarding the plight of the less fortunate, fails to meet the criteria of fairness. The inherent disparities it perpetuates due to circumstances of birth undermine its viability from behind the veil of ignorance. Similarly, Rawls dismisses the idea of a communist system, as it eradicates individual incentives and hampers the full utilization of talents. 
While acknowledging the inequalities engendered by market systems, Rawls argues that they possess the potential to generate wealth that can benefit all members of society. Consequently, a judicious degree of inequality is justified, as long as it improves the circumstances of the least privileged. This stance defends liberal capitalist societies, but not without conditions. Rawls' social contract emphasizes the reciprocal obligations between individuals and societal institutions. While individuals are compelled to accept the established social order, institutions are morally bound to substantially assist and empower those who find themselves in disadvantaged positions. Ultimately, the more privileged members of society can justify existing inequalities only by actively and profoundly aiding the less fortunate. Summary. Throughout the ages, political philosophers have grappled with the intricate task of establishing harmonious societies and cohesive communities, while also seeking the most admirable principles to pursue. Rawls, in his theory, presents a compelling vision, justice as fairness. Under this paradigm, a just system is one that an impartial individual, acting in their own rational self-interest, would select while positioned behind a metaphorical veil of ignorance. This veil compels them to consider the common good without knowledge of their personal circumstances. Through this lens, the choice made by such an individual, a choice that upholds the principles of fairness, ensures the widest range of societal benefits for those least fortunate among us. Rawls enriches our comprehension of the concept of justice and issues a challenge to evaluate our society against this lofty ideal. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description, trust me, you won't regret it.